All right, pretty good Tuesday for the middle of August. Once again, temperatures were below average. The humidity was low. I hope you got out to enjoy it as we look at the uh, calendar for the month. 18 days in, and we've had 70s, 80s, and 90s this month. We've had 10 of them at or above average and 8 of them below average. And the forecast calls for plenty more below average temperatures just in the next few days. We've got above average rain chances though. Today, one of the few times this summer that the radar has been mostly dry across our state. No rain in our area. A couple of showers up toward the mountains. Those will not bother us tonight. But we've got some rain that'll bother us tomorrow. I've got no 90s though the rest of this week. That'll be the good side effect. Higher rain chances, lower temperatures. I do have some 90s on the map right now. Johnston County, I'm not 100% sure that the Smithfield temperature sensor is working correctly, but we'll go with it. 93 down there in Smithfield, 86 here in the capital. It's 83 in Durham. We've got mid and upper 80s down toward the Sand Hills. And with that lower humidity, you felt it this morning, our temperatures are able to cool off a little more at night. So I don't have any rain in the hour by hour forecast through tomorrow morning. We've got very few clouds. Temperatures will quickly fall into the 70s later tonight and we'll get all the way down to 67 by tomorrow morning. This morning it was 64. That doesn't happen a lot around here this time of year, so I hope you got to enjoy it. So high pressure that moved in behind that front that moved through overnight. That's the one that gave us the rain yesterday. That helped to give us the comfortable day today. Of course, high pressure generally keeps us dry, a lot more sunshine today. Well, this high pressure is going to fizzle out in the next 24 hours. So this frontal system and the instability it brings will help up our rain chances. And then it's just going to kind of jostle back and forth over the next couple of days. And that's one of the reasons why our rain chances are going to go up. So let's see what that looks like. We'll pick up future casts tomorrow morning. Again, we'll start off with some sunshine. Notice where everything's coming from as the maps go into motion. It's going to be more of a southerly flow. And even by lunchtime, we'll have a little bit more rain to talk about down in the sand hills. That southerly flow that tends to bring the humidity levels back up. So we've got that going for us later this week. Here we are tomorrow afternoon. Not a big severe weather threat tomorrow, but some heavy rain is definitely in the forecast. And it's not going to rain all day, definitely not a washout, but we'll keep a few scattered showers around through dinner time and through the evening hours. So all in all, that's about a 50, maybe a 60% chance of rain tomorrow. Then on Thursday, morning will be dry, more cloud cover throughout the day, and then as we get to the second half of the day, that's when we'll see another 50 to 60% chance of scattered showers. So that's the rain chances come in the next few days. We've got two well put together tropical systems out there. Nothing organized yet, not a named system, but something that the National Hurricane Center thinks is inevitable. A 70% chance of development out of this one that's in the Caribbean. I'm not too worried about that one because at this point it's a little too low in the latitudes to make a drastic turn to the north. There's high pressure. It's going to suppress it, keep it in the Caribbean. So that's probably more of a Gulf of Mexico storm. This one obviously a little farther out has a 90% chance of development. And the way this one's positioned, it's not likely that it'll come to the east coast, but it's definitely more possible than this second one. So this is the one we'll watch a little closer. Laura and Marco are next up on the name list and we could very well have them by the end of this week. If anything were to come here, by the way, we're still talking a week to nine days before it gets close to us. In the meantime, better rain chances the next few days means lower temperatures, mid 80s, three days in a row. We'll make it a fourth day on Saturday as lower rain chances. Then we're back to near 90 Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with dry weather next Monday and Tuesday. And your 10-day forecast keeps us around 90 through next week. All right, it's Tuesday. You know what that means. We're tracking the tropics tonight at 8 o'clock on CBS17.com. We're going to go out to Greenville, North Carolina, and down to Savannah to talk about uh, what's going on in the tropics, what they've lived through. Got a really interesting story on how a house that was at sea level got raised to avoid hurricane flooding. We'll talk about that and dive into the systems out there right now. That's tonight at 8 on CBS17.com.